Uh, so first week for pre-season here at the Cats, what's it like to walk into this club with the connection you have to it? Yeah, I'm stoked. Like, I think I've said that a million times. I think walking in here, you know, I saw this ground when, you know, you could stand. So for me to go out on that ground and see the big, you know, big lights and all the big grandstand around, it's pretty cool. So I'm very, very lucky and very fortunate to be at the Cats. And we just chatted about your nickname, Spud. Give us a bit of the background on that one. Um, well, I'm not a potato, so I'm not lazy. Uh, but when I was little, I used to sit and stare at the TV. So I used to sit on the couch and just stare right at the TV. So my dad nicknamed me Spud, and then it's just stuck through sport. So um, I don't really, you know, like kind of put it toward the actual potato, but uh, for me, it's just a word. So, um, and it's me. Yeah. Awesome. And you were obviously traded here over the off season. What's the transition been like moving back to Victoria? To be honest, it's been relatively easy. You know, I still spend my off season on the coast. Um, so for me, you know, flights and the drive was a lot, uh, well, flights are a lot cheaper and then the drive is a lot uh, less. So we actually did it in one day. So thanks, shout out to my partner, Brett. He drove the whole way because um, I'm a bit of a passenger princess, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, um, it's probably been seamlessly and like, you know, the staff here are awesome. and. The girls have been great. Like, I just can't believe how welcoming they've been. And I already, I've been here, I think, two weeks and I already feel a part of the group. And you've said you've just been to a couple of the games over the last couple of weeks. What's that been ex experience been like getting immersed in the club? Uh, well, unfortunately, we haven't won any of the games that I've been to. So that's a, that's, that sucks. Um, but the Richmond game, we went to the MCG and we were lucky enough to be um, under, under the rooms before the game. And it was pretty cool to see a lot of my favourite places, players close up. Um, I didn't realise how tall Radaglia was. Um, I'd like to see him in person. That'd be real cool here. Um, but yeah, no, it's been awesome. I think the, the thing that actually probably stood out to me was when the VFL girls won against Essen. So I actually hadn't heard the Geelong song before. So for me, it was a bit of, I had a bit of the goosebumps when I'd heard the Geelong song actually sung like in a team that I'm probably, I'm going to be involved in. So you know, that was a bit sentimental for me. So, yeah, I had a little bit of a, you know, yeah.